Hello, good to see you. I'm back with another tactic test, trying to find the best tactics for FM24. The tactic we're testing out today is called 424 Icebreaker CF Underlap. If you want to download this tactic, try it out for yourself. Let me know how you get on with it. The link will be in the description below. If you can't download it for any reason, I will run over the tactic at the end of the video. And if you're new around here, we test the tactic with three teams. I know main cities on your screen, but we also do test it with Brighton and Luton to give it a fair test. Then we add up the points and put a little fun tactic test and league table at the end of the video to see how this compares to the other tactics that I've tested on your screen. Now is Main City's best learn about restrictions, so let's start with them. Here we go then, starting with the Community Shield, we beat Arsenal 1-0. We beat Liverpool along the way of the Carabao Cup, Wolves, Leeds in the final, Main United, and we thrashed them 7-0. I know Martinez did get sent off after 17 minutes for May United, but it's still, still 7 0. And in the FA Cup, well, we won that as well, knocking out Tottenham, Liverpool, Sheffield United, Nottingham Forest in the final. We had Calvin Phillips sent off after 28 minutes, but we still managed to win 3 1. And the dream run continues because we beat Sevilla in the Super Cup 3 2 and extra time. On to the Champions League now, where we finished in second place Real Madrid, Lazio, and Union Berlin. We won four, drew one, lost one, which was against Real Madrid 3-0. We finished on the same points as Real Madrid, 13 points. Then the knockout rounds, we knocked out Inter, nice and comfortable, that's great. But quarter-final, getting knocked out against Feyenoord was very disappointing. We beat them three to at home, but the way leg, we lost 3-0. And Calvin Phillips got himself sent off again after the second minute. And in the Premier League, we only went on to win that. So we just missed out on the Champions League. That's it would have been a clean sweep across the board. We won 28, drew 5, lost 5, scored 103 goals, conceded 36, a goal down for 67, a point instead of 89. And yes, Tottenham finished second. Player stats now, and their top goal scorer is Haaland with 56 goals. Banana Silva with 19. Phil Foden having a good season with 19 goals. Assists where they come from, the right back, Carl Walker. Kevin De Bruyne has got 17. The best performer for us in the league is Arlen with a 7.50. Who else? In clean sheets, we've got 28. On to team stats now. Most points per game, we've got a 2.34. Most goals were top here of 103, which is great. Most shots for were top here of 810. A lot of shots. Fewer shots against were top here as well. By quite a bit, only uh, 228. Most dribbles made, 7th place here with 620. Most clean sheets, 4th place here with 15. And fewest conceded for the season. Conceding 36 in 2nd place for the season, which is not bad at all. Like I said, just a shame about the Champions League. Calvin Phillips getting sent off again. That's maybe could have been clean sweep across the board. That would have been amazing. That's it in Main City. Now let's test it with Brian. In the Carabao Cup, we got knocked out against Aston Villa in the 4th round. But it was away from home. And it was very close. We lost 4-3. FA Cup now. And we knocked out Wolves and Arsenal in the fifth round 2-1, which is good results. But we lost in the quarterfinal 4-0 against Nottingham Forest. When we look at their Europa League, they topped their group. They won four, drew one, lost one, finished on 13 points. Knocked out Real Sociedad. Knocked out West Ham in the quarterfinal. Got to the semi-final. Two draw against Bayer Leverkusen at home, which is okay. But the way leg again was let us down with a 1-0 loss. So we lose on aggregate 3-2. And when we check out the league season preview to finish 10th, well, they finished 10th. They won 15, they drew 8, lost 15, goals for 75, scored a few goals, goals conceded 67, goal difference of 8, and a point tally of 53. Onto their players' stats now, and they're scoring a lot of goals. Pedro's got 23, Evan Ferguson's got 22, Anzi Fatty's got 19. Danny Welbeck's got 16. Assist wise, where they come from, Gross with 13 with Lamperty. Uh, their best performer is Pedro. Not a surprise. 23 goals, 12 assists. A 7.21 is a good season. For, great season. Not a good season. It's a great season for him. And when we look at the clean sheets, we've got 10. On the team stats now, where we're on three list. Most goals, fourth place here with 75 goals. Most shots for third place here, 555. Fewer shots against 8th place here, 400. And that's your lot. 53 points with Brighton is okay. Would have liked it got a little bit more. But sometimes, I've said this before, sometimes that's just the way with Brighton. Now let's test with Luton and can they do any better? Well, in the Carabao Cup, they've done very well. They got to the semi-final. They drew 0-0 at home. 
It's the way leg again where they lost 4-3 against Leicester. And in the FA Cup, it's disappointing because we lost in the third round 3-1 against Brentford. On to the league now season preview to finish 20th. We finished 11th. They have done better than Brighton though. Even though Brighton were 10th, Luton 11th, they've got more points than them. They won 15, drew 10, lost 13, goals for 58, goals against 52, a goal difference of 6, but a points tally of 55, which... I think Brighton got 53, they got 55, so done two points better in the league. And when we take a look at their goals, they're coming from Jacob Brown with 15 goals, Adebayo with 15, Carlton Morris with 10, so they're scoring a few goals again. Cabal's got the most assists with 11, and the best performer is, we're going to give it to him as well, Cabal with a 7.20, a good season for him. And clean sheets, we've got 13. Team stats now, and we're on the same three list as Brighton were. Well, most goals were in eighth place. There were 58 goals. Most shots for fifth place. There were 506. Fewer shots against seventh place. There were 384. And that's your lot with Luton. 55 points, which is actually a really good season with Luton. Just a shame Brighton didn't do a little better. Right. Now let me add up the points and put in a little fun tactic testing league table and hopefully it makes the leaderboard. 424 icebreaker CF underlap comes in in a number 15 spot done very well. 158, drew 23, lost 33, goals for 236, goals against 155, a goal difference of 81. It won five trophies and a points tally of 197. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. If you can leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, that would be amazing. If you need the instructions because you're playing on console, carry on watching. In goal, we've got a sweeper keeper on defend. There is going to be some add-on instructions, of course, it would need be. On the left-hand side, we've got a wing back on attack. On the right-hand side, we've got a wing back on attack. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. In front of them, we've got a defensive midfielder on support. Alongside another defensive midfielder on support. On the left hand side, we've got inside forward support. On the right hand side, we've got an inside forward attack. Up front, the right hand side, we've got a complete forward support. Alongside advanced forward attack. Tattle style basically is a custom one if you just copy everything here. Mentality balanced in possession. What do we have? Attack and whip standard. Approach play, pass in the space. Underlap on the left, underlap on the right. Focus down the left, focus down the right. Pass threat is shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never. Low crosses, run at defence. In transition, what do we have? We got a counter press, counter, dispute quickly and roll it out. Out of possession, we have high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution, get stuck in, step up more. And that is your lot. Like I said earlier, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And if you've got a tactic you want to suggest, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you then.